Upland game biologists typically start listening runs for sharp-tailed grouse March 15th through April 1st. It must be a calm morning where you can hear the clicking and cooing of grouse dancing on their lecks. Once the dancing grounds are located, the work begins. The whole month of April we'll do counts and we want to go to each lek that's in our blocks uh, three times. We're counting males, um, the males that are at a lek, you know, we call it attendance. And we, we've done these for, you know, 30, 40, 50 years. And looking at trend data, you know, it's not a complete count, but we're comparing how many males are on the lek from year to year. Like the spring of 1997, an abundance of snow on the landscape will make it difficult, if not impossible, for biologists to complete the surveys. Peak female attendance, uh, really when everything starts going, is right in the middle of April. And it, it doesn't matter if there's two or three feet of snow, it all, it all depends on photo period, and that's how much daylight there is each day. Most of the grouse lecks are out in the short grass prairie, away from roads. We'll do everything we can to get out to each lek, you know, complete our sur surveys to the best that we can. If we have protocols that we can adapt to, um, to change, you know, with the weather and with the conditions, things like that, so we can get our best sample size. The data biologists collect during grouse surveys is vital for managing our state's sharp-tailed grouse. This is our population data for this. This is how we track how the population is doing, so it's, it's very crucial. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.